get this over with because we've seen this time many, many times before. And I, I, I honestly, I watch closely the trial. I watch the recaps and I watch the stuff and I kind of knew this was going to come, but you know, you don't want to be pessimist. And I think this is going to happen with Ahmaud Aubrey as well, uh, but we'll have to seek the trial. Uh, but Kyle Redhouse uh, pleaded not guilty and the verdict was not guilty on all charges. Uh, Kyle Redhouse was a teen when he went to another state uh, as a vigilante and killed two people. Uh, now he claims he was self-defense and they believe them, uh, but the prosecution wasn't that great. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I think that was one of the main things that kind of let me believe that he was going to be uh, free. He was pretty dramatic uh, and most of the jurors were white. <laughs> so um, uh, like, Again, I, I, I am not, this is not too surprising because it's not the first time that happens. It's not going to be the last one. Again, I think an all white jurors in the Amount Aubrey case probably is going to happen the same thing. I'm pretty sure we're not yet settled on that, but that smells like that. So we're going to start with Hillary. What's your thought? What's your take on it? Definitely not surprising. Saw a lot of the like tears and theatrics and everything I saw painted him in the picture that we had discussed months prior of just like good teen boy who's sad, who made a mistake, who deserves a second chance. He's young and full of life and opportunities and possibilities. And it's like, so are the people that were shot dead. So are all of the black teens and kids and people and human beings that are shot dead that you end up depicting as criminals and hoodlums and people who apparently didn't deserve to still be alive um Fidel is completely correct it's not shocking it won't be the last time that this happens um I saw a woman say something super moving um I didn't know her she apparently hosts a talk show and the name is escaping me right now but essentially saying that like stuff like this makes black people feel like they don't matter in this society but um basically saying that we we matter and we are so powerful that we need to be essentially killed to be silenced because we evoke that much emotion and have that much power and I thought that that was a really good take in saying that we shouldn't give up what the fight is even though uh, people keep trying to silence racialized people um, but the verdict's not a surprise it's just it's just disappointing um like, I think we thought that like the Derek Chauvin thing was like, a, that was like half a win. It was a surprise. This is just bringing us back to reality. You on mute, Fidel? Um, that was well said, Hillary. Uh, regarding the Kyle Rittenhouse uh, trial, while we're not surprised, it's still angering. Um, yeah, this kid, uh, I don't know if anyone has saw, saw footage from it, but you see the kid and the judge and the prosecutor joking around during parts of the trial, having fun, making light of the situation. And the reality is there's families who are bawling their eyes out at home be and friends because of the two people that were murdered. Um, this kid crossed the state, uh, was carrying a semi-loaded automatic rifle. He got himself involved in very violent protests if you see the videos of the night that took place i mean america was a real war zone during those times um he was being chased down he was attacked he let off shots in the people and he ended up murdering people was it first degree murder i don't know second degree i don't know but i would say like manslaughter and the fact that he got off is just ridiculous um sometimes <sighs> examples need to be set in America. Uh, and again, I think this was a big dropping of the ball. I know we're talking about a, a person's life, this young man, but sometimes examples need to be set. It needs to be known that you can't just go out and murder people just because they're protesting. That's not how America works. Uh, and to anyone who doesn't disagree with me, um, let's picture January 6th. Let's picture the January 6th riots. Now let's picture a young black man crossing state lines to protect his country going into those January 6th riots. Uh, yeah, maybe getting attacked, harassed, stuff like that, and then murdering two people. How does the court system play out for that trial? I think we all know. Uh, so to anyone who has sympathy for Kyle, uh, you have to always reverse the frame and imagine what would happen if it was 
well i guess he killed white people didn't he i was gonna say if it was black people killing white people or black people killing black people probably the same result uh that person's going to jail for a long 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 time and that didn't happen in this case and it's not surprising but upsetting now i will say something about this particular thing um because again i am i'm not numb to it or i'm just uh I, I just, I try to be as objective as I can, uh, but unfortunately, this is just unfair. Uh, I'll be honest, this is just plainly unfair. However, uh, when we look at the justice system in America, which is kind of like what Clinton says, when we look at the justice system in America and Canada, I'm not going to let Canada off the hook here because uh, Canada is it, the point. same. You're right. Uh, like, I'm yeah. not, not going to let that off the hook. Uh, there has been numerous cases, and you can look them up on the internet, of uh, there's recently, I think one or two years ago, of uh, two underage women that were abducted by men. Uh, they were raped, beaten, and even sold, like, uh, you know, like, that would be child trafficking. Uh, and these women defended themselves and killed, it, killed this man. And they were going to have a life sentence in jail. Um, and the only difference is that these were black and brown women. I think one was Latino and the other one was black and they were women and the law was going to throw the book at them. Uh, I think there was a lot of prote protests. I think people like Rihanna got into the whole thing. Uh, I still got to follow up. I think one got away. I think the Latino woman got free, but I think the other one got sentenced, uh, Please correct me if I'm wrong on that. And if you look at the data of the court system in the United States, it says that it's a uh, bias against people of color, uh, Latinos, and immigrants. Uh, so I don't think that the system is fair or the American system. The American system is racist and the Canadian system too. Like uh, the, the system is blatantly racist towards people of color. And I want to let everybody that's a, a somebody on color do not think, do not think that the law is going to be fair to you. It's just not. Uh, it's not that I'm trying to be pessimistic. It's just the data is there. The information is there. Uh, there has been numerous studies about this. And do not think that the system is unfair. So uh, what, how comedians says, protect your black ass. Get some empowerment. Get some something to be done. Uh, just because this is, this is just another example of how, if somebody is white and gets white jurors and a white judge and a white lawyers, uh, most likely could get away killing people that are protesting for black people or killing black people. But if it's a black or brown person, with white jurors with white lawyers and white judges i am sorry to say your odds are against you that's that's just the reality i i can't i, I wish i could say something sweet or nice uh i'm not making this up i did not create this it's just there uh so yeah i think that's that's the only thing i, I could say about that um so Fuck you, Kyle. Uh, that's all you can say. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have a life. I think. I mean, if George Zimmerman's still alive and kicking, I don't see how would you do any worse. So. <laughs>